Hi, welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, uh, Tudor History author and uh, Tudor nut. Okay, today I'm going to take you back to 1535 and the reign of King Henry VIII. For On This Day in Tudor History, the 23rd of August 1535, Royal favourite and keen reformer Sir Nicholas Points welcomed King Henry VIII and his wife, who was of course Queen Anne Boleyn at the time, to his home. Now he lived in Acton Court in Iron Acton, which is in uh, the south of the county of Gloucestershire. And he invited them to his home as part of their royal progress. Now, the proposed um, itinerary in letters and papers uh, from Henry VIII's uh, time gives the 21st of August as the uh, scheduled date for their visit to Points' home. But as Natalie Grunninger and Sarah Morris pointed out in their book, In the Footsteps of Anne Boleyn, the progress was delayed slightly. So the couple didn't actually um, arrive until the 23rd of August. So they stayed there on the 23rd and the 24th of August 1535. Now Sir Nicholas Points, as I said, he was a favourite and he was a keen reformer. He was born around 1510. He was the eldest son of naval commander Sir Anthony Points and his first wife Elizabeth Huddersfield. He was the grandson of Sir Robert Points, who'd served as Vice Chamberlain and Chancellor to Henry VIII's first wife Catherine of Aragon. Now, the Points family were an old Gloucestershire family. They um, dated back over 200 years in the county of Gloucestershire, so a very well-established family there. In 1527, Points married Joan Barclay, daughter of Thomas Barclay, 5th Baron Barclay. Um, he, as I said, was a favourite of Henry VIII and also a favourite of Anne Boleyn. And in the autumn of 1532, he accompanied the couple who weren't married at this time. Um, and Anne had just been made Marquess of Pembroke. Um, he accompanied them on their visit to Calais. Now they went to Calais to get Francis I's um, support uh, for their union and for the annulment of Henry VIII's uh, marriage. So Sir Nicholas Points was invited to accompany the royal couple on this uh, very important uh, voyage. Now, although Points' wife came from a very staunch Catholic family, Points was a very zealous reformer and evangelical. Alistair Hawkyard, in his biography, his Oxford Dictionary of National Biography, Biography of Points, writes of how Points was brought up in the reformist zeal shared by so many of his closest relatives and that he displayed his contempt for traditional religious observances by incorporating in several of his properties stones from smashed crosses from churches. So not only was he a zealous reformer, he had contempt for the traditional Catholic Church. Now Acton Court, where Anne Boleyn and Henry VIII went to on this day in 1535, had been in the Points family since the 1300s, since 1364. But Sir Nicholas Points uh, carried out improvements on the property, especially for this royal visit. It was a big thing having the king and his queen consort coming to visit you after all. And he added an entirely new east wing to the property. Um, it was built in just nine months, so very, very quickly. It was a rush job, uh, you know, to be put on the itinerary for the Royal Progress. And then, you know, to think, ah, I haven't got any kind of state apartments. I haven't got anything that is good enough for the King and Queen. I'll quickly build something. It was like that. So it didn't even have proper foundations and he used um, Hampton Court Palace and Whitehall Palace for inspiration. He modelled the rooms on those properties and he furnished them with luxury items. He set out to impress and it seems that the royal couple were impressed because um, the reward for his hospitality in 1535 was a knighthood during the royal couple's stay. So, um, you know, they were obviously impressed. 
Now this royal progress of Anne and Henry lasted from July, the start of July to the end of October and it covered the southwest and south. It took the royal couple through the counties of Oxfordshire, Gloucestershire, Wiltshire, Hampshire and Berkshire. Now, royal progresses um, were good because it gave chance for the normal palaces that were used by the king to be cleaned. Um, it also got the royal family out of the uh, stuffy, hot London in the summer months, which, you know, London in the summer months was also uh, di disease ridden as well. You just didn't want to be, as a royal, you didn't want to be in the city of London over the summer. And it also showed the king and queen off to their subjects as well and uh, gave chance for um, you know the nobility to host them and to bankrupt themselves sometimes by hosting them but this progress was also an opportunity for Henry and Anne to promote the Reformation and to visit people who were seen as pro-reform and people who were supporters of Henry and Anne people like the um, Poinces and also the Walsh family of Little Sodbury Manor who would also host the King and Queen on this progress. So it was a really important progress, this 1535 progress. So that's what happened on this day in 1535. Henry and Anne visited Sir Nicholas Points and his property in Gloucestershire, a property that he added a whole wing to without family foundations for this royal couple and set out to impress. Thank you for joining me today. You can subscribe by clicking round about there and doing that really really does help. I think I think I had a look at statistics and I think 50% of people uh, watch um, my videos and haven't subscribed and I would just ask you to do that because it really does help other people uh, find my videos and enjoy them so thank you so much for doing that you can hit the bell to be notified as videos go live which they do on a uh, daily basis and uh, you can of course like this video if you've enjoyed it thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow take care bye bye